What's up, y'all? Capone Town Tony here, and welcome to another Ever Crisis video. So it is Wednesday night right now from, you know, where I am in the world, which means we got a new content drop in Ever Crisis. And we did get a new banner, and it's not tied to the anniversary this time. This is the first feature banner after the all the limit break draws that we just had for uh, anniversary. And if you're a new player to this game, uh, feature banners mean that these uh, weapons in these uh, banners are not limited like these limit break banners You can only get these weapons in these draws Feature banners these new weapons here can eventually be wishlisted and they can be uh, Received in ticket draws weapon exchange vouchers things like that. So yeah, just getting that getting that out of the way So anyway, we got Kate Sith and Vincent Halloween theme Let's get right into it. So for <laughs> Kate Sith, this costume is actually pretty sick. I actually really love the aesthetics on this one. Very, very festive. I love Kate Sith's weapon right here. The his little broom, his uh, megaphone. It's, it's actually um, amazing. Little pumpkins on the eye patch and the hat. Uh, the purple color scheme. I think this looks amazing. Really, really good. Eight Kate Sith the character, but yeah, really cool costume. <laughs> so anyway, eerie mask for the R ability. 15% magic defense plus 5% uh, HP. Very, very good R ability. I love these defensive R abilities on um, when it, on the costumes. Uh, you know, really, really just nice to have defense on costumes. Sure, it's not going to be, this is going to suck for, you know, battles that don't need magic defense and are more physical oriented, but, you know, it's either way, it's still really, really nice to have. Uh, I think the, a lot of the previous feature banners have these same things like the summer um, costumes. So anyway, he also got buff debuff extension. Uh, this is not tied to the actual buff debuff extension stat. Uh, this is like its own separate thing. It was kind of, this is uh, very similar to, uh, I guess, I think Tifa got this one. And I think Aerith got this one for her Monster Hunter costume. Uh, Tifa's one was the feather one, I think. Yeah, so it's like 60% buff debuff. Uh, very, very, very good for a character like Kate Sith where like, uh, ha like it feels like half of his kit revolves around buffing and debuffing. So actually really, really nice to have. Uh, so which is broom his new weapon at ob0 120 uh, 260 percent physical non elemental damage with a chance of crit uh, magic defense is decreased mid and it uh, goes to mid uh, when 50 percent hp or more thunder resist is decreased mid and mid uh, okay 40 and 12 on the r abilities that's actually really high for boost attack and lightning potency uh, the Sid or the uh, materia slots, P attack, uh, lightning boost. I think that's really cool to have, and sigil boost. Really, really solid. All right, OB six. It goes up to three hundred sixty percent damage, and then magic defense stays at mid. A little bit extra duration. Magic. Oh, uh, the thunder resist goes to high now. So OB six goes straight to high. Three ATB by the way. Really, really nice. This is the first uh, lightning debuffing weapon we've had. Lightning resistance debuffing weapon that, that does three ATB. So this already automatically power creeps uh, Red 13's uh, Seaside Collar and, what is it, the Wind Slash for Yuffie. So those took four ATB, and they didn't even have magic defense on them too. So this thing's uh, definitely a power creep in multiple ways. So you know, less ATB to use and the added benefit of having magic defense decreased as well. Really, really cool. Plus the R abilities, 54, 27, OB6. That is pretty damn insane. OB10... A little extra duration on the magic defense, a little bit more physical non elemental damage, and a little bit more duration on the thunder resist. Um, 6239. This Kate Sith got some insane R ability weapons, man. 6239. This is amazing for like a sub weapon, like for your lightning DPSs, uh, which we'll actually go into in a second here when I talk about Vincent. So, yeah, uh, yeah, this is a really good weapon. Um, really really solid i like I'm, I'm definitely gonna probably wish list this eventually you know once it i'm not gonna draw for it but yeah this is definitely a, one of these weapons you definitely want to have for wish listing uh just for him because it's a great debuffing weapon for you know thunder resist down magic defense at the same time and yeah the r abilities are just insane for any lightning build so yeah really really solid weapon and the costume very solid for him so yeah if you're a kate sith main and you yeah you know, want some buff debuff great costume all right so let's go into vincent now vincent this costume looks freaking dope dude i love the aesthetics on this one man he's like yeah it's like a vampire right the red cape yeah the claws wow this looks pretty sick 
Yeah, it's like a crow, right? He has the crow face. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, I, I actually kind of want this from a, a just from an aesthetic standpoint. Man, really, really good. All right, so the Crow Master suit, uh, same R ability as Kate Sith, magic defense, HP. Very, very nice to have on a costume. And then he got Eleven Blade Arcanum. So, what is that? The fourth character now to get Lightning Arcanum in this game? I think it's Cloud, uh, Zack. Tifa and Vincent. So yeah, I think that's the fourth one. So yeah, more lightning damage. Very cool. All right, Crow Familiar. OB0, 120, 520% magic lightning damage. One buff is granted, 1.2 multiplier, and the limit gauge is increased. And then we get magic attack and lightning potency, 20 and 12. Magic attack, magic attack, sigil boost on the uh, materia slots, pretty good. And uh, OB6, 780% magic lightning damage with a 1.2 multiplier again. Uh, limit gauge is increased to 5%, 27, 27 on the magic attack and lightning potency. So it is a magic attack lightning weapon, by the way. Very, very strong. And 940% at OB10, 1.2 multiplier, and yeah, 31, 39. So this is, isn't this like pretty similar to Tifa's uh, magic lightning build that she got for the Monster Hunter? Um, I think the damage is pretty similar so yeah this is extremely strong this is when it comes to an elemental build i think 940 percent with a multiplier is pretty much the highest in the game right now there's only a couple other characters that have gotten damaged this high and i think it was during the monster hunter crossover uh, i might have to recheck that but tifa also her fire build uh, has 940 percent with a multiplier and then zach's wind build has wind weapon uh during the what's it called the uh ff9 crossover the Batrix sword whatever also at 940 percent with a 1.2 multiplier so yeah very very strong weapon for a limit or for a non-limited banner a featured banner right so yeah very very good yeah if you want a magic lightning build um can't go wrong with this one fantastic costume aesthetics look incredible uh yeah if you just want to draw for the costume and you can just wish list this weapon eventually to ob10 yeah you're set even like at OB1, this thing's going to be like, what, 620% damage or something with a 1.2 multiplier, which means it's going to be like 750%, which is what Murasami is at OB10, <laughs> right? So, yeah, the power creep is real like on these elemental weapons now compared to like a year ago. So, yeah, really, really good weapon. Pretty solid banner overall. Am I going am I, am I gonna draw on this? Uh, probably not. Are you gonna draw on this? Um, I'm not sure how y'all are sitting on crystals right now, especially if you're a light spender or free-to-play, just coming out of uh, anniversary. <laughs> but uh, the cool thing is that this banner does not expire until Halloween. So you have a decent amount of time if you wanted to save up and eventually maybe draw a page and get um, Vincent's new costume or Vic Kate Sith, if, you know, whatever one, one you want. But I do have to get this out of the way that a special event is be coming in November. So it might be early November. It's rumored to be a Final Fantasy crossover event. And it could be, if I were to guess, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy XVI. Final Fantasy XVI makes sense to me because Ifrit is getting a new uh, stream expansion during that same month. So, you know, Ifrit, if you play Final Fantasy XVI, Clive, the main character, yeah. <laughs> um, or Final Fantasy X to me makes a lot of sense too because aside from FF7, I think uh, FF10 is probably the most mainstream popular Final Fantasy outside of 7. Or, I mean, 14 as well, obviously, but I'm not sure what they could do for a 14 crossover if they were to go that route, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, just getting that out of the way. Um, Before I forget, uh, let's go into the new stamp card now. So they're, this, they're doing something different with stamp cards now. So... Uh, Five star higher, you know, five star higher guaranteed. Was that always on featured stamp cards? So, but if you go second page, you're actually getting more guarantees now, and you can switch out which weapons you want. So if you, they're kind of giving you an extra incentive now to pull deeper on featured banners. Uh, I still don't really recommend it. You know, featured banners, you kind of just want to grab the costume and get out of there. But you know, that's pretty cool that they're doing this. And also, they're doing this pumpkin fest gear voucher. So, meaning that if you go into the exchange. Pumpkin uh, Fest Gear Voucher, Volume 1. So that means it's going to be a Volume 2. They're probably going to bring back the uh, Aerith and Cloud costumes uh, maybe next week. And when I say that, because they brought back Blackhound, 
which is uh, Zach's costume, they actually boosted the R abilities on it too. So boost HP 15 now and boost P attack. These went from 10 to 15. Uh, these are very, very dated costumes. So I really recommend you don't get these unless you just really love the aesthetic. But yeah, uh, you know, these you can get these R abilities just on any weapon. So, you know, if you just love the aesthetic, yeah, you can get this. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend do not do that. <laughs> and uh, Glenn's costume came back too. I think this is actually a really cool costume for Glenn. The same thing though. It's you know, very, very dated R abilities. So yeah, once you get the gear voucher, you can uh, exchange it for Vincent's or Kate Sith's, and you can get some Mithril Ore if you want to do that too. So yeah, it's something that they're doing new when it comes to feature banners in this game. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I think that covers that. Um, when it comes to like wish list and whatnot for Vincent, uh, let's go to my party real quick. So I already have like a, a lightning build for Tifa. So I already, I drew on Tifa. Well, I was actually drawn on Aerith and I got Tifa along the way <laughs> for the Monster Hunter. So her weapon, yeah, 940%. And this is, and but it doesn't have the multiplier, but it does, she's able to boost magic attack just by using the weapon, which is actually pretty cool. Same R abilities. Um, yeah, so, but, the, you know, the crazy thing is Vincent has this weapon now and with a multiplier. Sure, he doesn't get magic attack increase, but, you know, he can get that from someone else, like a support on the team, like Tifa <laughs> from her new uh, anniversary costume or new anniversary weapon, right? So, yeah. Uh, but our ability weapons, um, you know, this is a great one. HP, lightning potency for crystal gloves, 6239. Um, this is a fantastic one, honestly. Probably one of the best ones you can go with right here. Uh, CC Alloy Sword, 52 Lightning Potency, 31 Magic Attack. Um, something like Electro Cannon, which is just really good. 46, 52 Magic Attack, uh, Magic Ability Potency. Sun and Brawl is a good one if you already have it, but uh, Electro Cannon is um, honestly better. And if you look at someone like Cloud that has these similar weapons, uh, Boost Attack, Lightning Potency. But Kate Sits, honestly, is, is even better than this one now because Kate Sits goes to 62 points instead of 39. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it for, you know, other ones. You know, if you want to get something like Flower Vase 2 for instead of Electro Cannon, you can do that as well. So, yeah. Um, very, very solid lightning build. Very solid weapons all around, you know. Eventually, you know, weapons I'm probably going to wish list eventually. So, yeah, really, really solid uh, banner. But, uh, yeah, that's going to cover for this. I'm going to end this video with some draws now because, you know, last time I did some draws, I, you know... Uh, they added weapons to the the ticket exchange, so I'm gonna do some air draws now, and yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Just get these out of the way. So y'all gonna draw on this one? I think it's a pretty solid banner, but you know, like I like I just showed y'all, I already have holy crap, <laughs> I already have magic lightning uh, with Tifa, even though it's not super built out, but yeah. Holy crap, that was a really solid pull, floral wand. Uh, what was it? Mithrod and uh, Silver Staff. Holy crap, that was good. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep chilling here and talking with y'all for a little bit. <laughs> Hope we can get some more pulls like this. Wow, thanks. Uh, Citric Wand, please. Was that a uh, Guard Stick? I'll take that. It's fine. Man. <laughs> Glad I kind of saved these. Yeah, I saved these specifically for Citric Wand to get added to the exchange. Oh, let's go. Snowflake. Wow, I'm getting a lot of weapons that I don't have. Yeah, that's great. Or, I mean, ones that I don't have OB-10, you know. I have a Fairy Tail and Sun Umbrella OB-10. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that was worth it, I think. Maybe I'll save some other tickets for another video. I have a, I think I have, what, Sephiroth and Lucia? Yeah, I can save these for another video. All right, you guys, that's going to cover it for this Ever Crisis video. If you liked it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support, and I will see y'all on the next one. Later.